Skipping is so, so beautiful when you learn it, when you master it. Skipping's the best. I just got back into it, so I suck right now, but I want to get good at it because it looks dope. Hitting back and biceps. Let's get the first. Let's get the first set in right now. Quick warm up. Quick little warm up. Here, you can pick them up at the gym. That'll be the video. Pick them up at Grizz the gym. Grizz picks up chicks at the gym. Bro, they're my friends. Yo. It's for content. Do you guys know who Grizz is? Do you guys know who Grizz is? Yeah. No. <laughs> Man, I'm not even gonna make a skip. I wanted to be like, isn't it that super cool baller guy? Zoom in on that. Why this way? Because Grizz is right there. Fire. Yo, shout out, shout out, Grizz. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that in the back? Shop bro, game trying to hate. Shooters, dunkers. Yeah, we got it. But I lost some talk as I'm smoking on this pack. Few events. I was running to relax, show past me the ball, I had to hit a step back. Back to get it, back to seriousness. I had my fun, back to seriousness. Veins, bro. Look at that pump. Usually I lift like 20. I usually lift with 20s, but my biceps are freaking moshed. That's crazy. Freaking mosh. Get the nail check, nail check, nail check. Nail check. <laughs> nail check, nail check. Cheese. Yo, mine are fire though, no? Yeah. yeah. Mine are fire, mine are fire. Don't limit your challenges. Challenge your fucking limits. I'm gonna spit you guys, I'm gonna spit you guys some gems right now, alright? Real quick. If you ain't doing something that you're not proud of in life, if you're not having fun, like these two women are having fun on their grind. Right here, like look, they're having a great time. This, this, is, this, is, how life, this is how life should be. You should be attacking a goal, you should be attacking a craft, something where, like, something that you're passionate about, you should be attacking that and having the most fun with it. You shouldn't be stuck at a place that you don't want to be in. Like look at that. Like imagine, imagine, so look, you have two women right here, passionate about getting their muscles up, passionate about getting their physical strength, and they still end up having fun. Now I get it, sometimes we get into modes where we like to lock in and we get that mamba mentality, but at the same time, never forget that you're doing this also to have fun. You're not just doing this to you know, show people, yo, I did this, like I f***ing you know, made so much money, I bought a fancy car, or you know, I spent so much time in the gym and you f***ers didn't do sh You shouldn't be doing it for other people. Do it because it makes you happy. That's why I picked up the camera, right? Just like how some people get behind the mic and they make music, right? Just like, I don't know, bro, like people dance, right, in front of the camera. I like going out, making, videos of me having fun kicking it with my people yeah i hope you guys enjoy that and um let's get to the next segment right now we forgot to send the mics on so we're gonna be doing a little bit of a voiceover today and uh yeah let's get straight into it a little fade away right there you know got to get warm but um i'm gonna put a couple of the clips of uh the other team scoring just at the beginning of the game just because i want to talk about the run that they had they actually went on like a 12 to 0 run or something like that we were in a drought at the beginning of the game. Our defense was very, very lazy. And obviously we weren't respecting their shots, which we should have because they were hitting on us. Um, nice little turnover right there by my brother, but you know, it is what it is, it's part of the game. So um, as you guys can see, I put I put like, you know, a couple of uh, a couple of misses that I have because I just want to talk about the fact that, you know, when you're when you're down uh, in a game and when your team overall is in a drought. The number one thing you want to do is you want to continue to push, push, push and try to score. You know what I mean? You don't want to shy away. If you are a very good shooter and you are, say, 0 for 6, 0 for 7, why should you stop shooting? Especially if, for example, like, you know, this is a men's league and stuff like that. But this is for some of you guys that play organized basketball. 
right? Like for some of you guys that have coaches and stuff like that, if your coach sees that you're missing, he's going to take you off the court and he's going to let you recuperate yourself on the bench, right? It's not like, you know, you're going to be on the court the whole time. So while you're on the court, try to maximize as many shots as you take. But at the same time, I'm not saying force every single shot, right? Like if you're getting triple team, don't f***ing throw up dumbass shots. But I'm saying if you're on the floor, right, try to do something effective on the floor, right? Don't just shy away. If you're a shooter and you catch an open ball, right, why are you going to pass the ball up? Oh, I'm cold. Well, it doesn't matter if you're cold, right? You're still, you're trying to get a look. You're trying to get you and also the momentum for your team going. Right. So that's why I just want to, you know, I, that's why I added a couple of misses because I wanted to talk to you guys and show you guys like, yo, if you're going to be missing, right. Continue to shoot until your coach takes you off the court. But obviously this is a men's league, so we don't have coaches. Right. But this is for a lot of you guys that actually played organized ball. Right. So Jabron hit a nice shot right there. He comes down the court again, hits another one on us. He dropped 30 the last game. So we came in this game, you know, and with the mentality like, yo, we got to stop him. Uh, I think he only had like 16 points. But hey, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we lost, right? It's my little fadeaway right here. But uh, yeah, man, like yo, if you're a shooter, shoot the ball, right? Like if you're a very great facilitator, facilitate the fucking game, bro. Bring the ball up the court, get some picks, get some get get your team moving. If you feel like your team is dead, yo, you gotta tell your guys, listen, like move. Like if you are offside ball, move. Like you know, you gotta you gotta voice yourself, right? And do whatever you can in your power to bring the team back and get the momentum back because. You know, I know there's a lot of times where you, you specifically, I'm talking to you, the viewer, right? Like where you're in a game and your team starts off very, 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 very like slack. Like there's, there's a part where like, you know, you guys start very, very slow and your team is, you know, the energy's off and stuff like that. So, you know, the best thing to do is to just continue doing what you know you're best at until it starts working. And if it's not working, your coach is going to take you off the court, recuperate yourself and stuff like that. That was a very nice pass by me. Dimer Grizz in the cut. Javon comes down the court, hits the shot on me. I saw this. He posted on his Instagram. I forgot. Oh, I, I was like, he's one for two. Bro, I wanted this ball so bad, I would have Kobe faded in his face. But they uh, they passed the ball right here, and I hit a three on him right here. Bang. Cash money. He wanted the ball back. He's like, yeah, give me that. But he ain't getting it. <laughs> nice little high post play. My brother hit this though. He has to hit this. Thank you, bro. Shooter, shoot. Now the whole game. I don't think we had to lead the whole game, but uh, we brought the game between. Did I hit this? Yeah, I hit that. We brought the game uh, between like 12, 12 points, and um, I should have boxed out there, but I thought my long ass was gonna get that rebound. Uh, yeah, we we brought the game uh, down by like 12, and then they just went on a run, and uh, we got sauced. We lost by, I think, like 25 or something like that. Nice little behind-the-pack pass. Woo, woo, woo. Dimer Grizz, bro. What did I do here? Oh, 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 step back. Uh, I, like, shot the ball, like, back here. <laughs> I think I faded here. Yep. Getting to my spots. Getting to my spots. cash i think that's pretty much it so i scored i scored about like 30 points that game now obviously i would rather take the w than take the l because we did win our first game of the season and i was kind of hoping that we were to go and have we were to go and have a flawless season because that's what i was that's what i that's what i was hoping for right like despite whether i score five points or can i score 50. this leads to the third segment of the video i made a story post and i was pretty much talking about how i'm going to be making an announcement some of you may know trouble team is playing against baller's life i think baller's life west you know it's a very 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 good look for trouble team to be playing against ball is life um especially the west coast squad so unfortunately i won't be able to make it and uh i'm gonna be sitting out this event um they picked up rob and they also picked up another guy named kenny who is uh he's a bigger body so you know that's a very very lethal weapon that we have on the team now um i will not be joining them in la i will be staying back home and uh continuing to do whatever the f makes me happy and that's pretty much really what i want to talk about right now at the beginning of all of this right me and kavan which is k show time you know we started doing these runs together and stuff like that and uh we started doing the park takeovers and stuff like that and obviously like shit got cracking and uh you know now we're pretty much like trouble team is is known on the map 
coming into this, my whole intention with, you know, creating content and doing all that type of stuff was pretty much, you know, to have fun and to feel fulfilled, right? Working on little projects for YouTube, you know, posting cool Instagram uh, videos, you know, at the same time spreading positive energy and just, you know, having fun with the craft. And um, I think it's gone to a point where, and obviously I think like, I'm a, like, I guess this happens with any type of buzz you get, but it's gotten to the point where things are getting way more competitive now. I feel like with all this buzz that Trouble Team has gained, um, I've kind of personally, I'm not, you know, speaking for the other guys, but for myself personally, I felt like, you know, I've lost a grip on the fun part. Uh, it's turned more into a competitive thing. Now we're walking into gyms, we're going into neighborhoods, we're going to courts, and on specific dates, I have to make sure that my mind, my physical, and just everything about me and my performance, I have to make sure that it's on top, on the top level, because if not, I feel like, or I felt like, you know, if I don't perform at a high level, I won't be fulfilled. I won't, you know, I just felt like, you know, if, if I go into a, go into an event, right. And I play like shit, the, the pressure of like, how do I explain this? The pressure of, yo, if I don't play good, I'm not going to have content to post type shit right now. The announcement that I'm making is that I'm going to shy away from this competitive shit. It's getting way too competitive. And at the same time, with all the buzz going on, there's a lot of people talking a lot of shit. Now, obviously, like people have told me, yo, don't pay attention to the hate comments. Don't pay attention to this, that, 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 that. But at the same time, it's like, I just don't feel like feeling the pressure of, yo, I got to perform at a high level anymore. I just want to go to the fucking basketball court, get a camera rolling, play ball, and make something cool or fun out of it. I will continue playing with Trouble Team. Whenever they're in Canada and you know, they wanna get me on a run, sure, I'll have fun. I'm down to play, why not, right? But at the same time, it's like, I'm not gonna be taking it as serious anymore. If I wanted to be miserable, if I wanted to, you know, uh, be stressed out all the time, I could have just gone, you know, a, f a f nine to five job. It's not that hard. I can go get a nine to five job right now, you know, get paid, whatever, and, and, and be stressed out all the time. But I'm not doing that. I'm not because I know the freedom that comes with having fun and and, you know, flowing with your passions. And this is a passion that I have started to take way, way, way too seriously. And for me, um, it's it's time to stop. You know what I mean? I'm too self-aware to to continue beating myself up and um, to be out of routine. Like my sleeping is fucked. my you know, I eat like garbage now and it's just it's not who I am. A year ago, right? I was I was good. I was rolling and now is just because of all the stress, overwhelming shit, you know, worrying about having to perform, da 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 da. You know, it's it's really paid a toll on, on my daily routines and stuff like that. You know, with all that being said, you know, from now on, I'm just gonna post whatever the fuck I wanna post. If that if that means I'm gonna go to the grocery store for a segment of a vlog, maybe I'm gonna go buy an orange and play catch with it in the local grocery store. Then you, that's what you guys are gonna get. And if you aren't happy and you, you don't fuck with that content, then you don't have to subscribe. You don't have to follow me. Like that's cool. But just know that yo, I'm doing things that are making me happy and fulfilled. But for the people that you know want to stick around and see what I have to come in the next couple of years, I don't even know what I have to come in the next couple of years. I'm just gonna post content, have fun. Let me say that again. I'm gonna post content that I wanna post and I'm gonna have fun whether you like it or not. So yeah, with all that being said, this is the end of the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching and um, stay tuned for the next video because we're gonna get freaking creative. Catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.